Hey, um, this is my second time recording this because I fucked up the first recording, but I uh, just wanted to go over a simple color picker and chase maker that you can make in the Beyond Universe. So if I click on yellow, you can see my queue changes colors, vice versa. <coughs> well, not really vice versa, but you get what I'm saying. Now if I want to make a chase, I can go green, then let's say cyan, and it's going to change color every beat. So I want to change that to a purple. So go green, purple, green, purple. So the way I've made this is you're gonna use a bunch of your cells in your quick effects tab. The way that I've laid it out is I've got my seven or so, maybe 10, 10 main colors in my first row. So that maybe if I wanna select it via the quick effects tab, I can do that as well. But this second uh, row or column that you see here, I've actually put on the second row I've hidden it all the way at the back of where I would normally sort of select my effects. The reason why you want to do that is because um, you're not very likely going to access this um, in the quick effects tab. You'd rather probably have other more useful color effects. And the, it's basically the same effect. Um, this effect here is just a color effect by hue. The reason why you want to use hue effects is because um, it preserves brightness. If you see that if I change this to a color effect, it actually destroys all the brightness information in my queue, turns everything to full brightness. So I like to make all of my color effects by hue. <coughs> um, and the second row, it's the same effect except that the bypass is set to 50. And that basically means that that effect is only going to run 50% of the time. And of course you want to set that period to be at 2 beats. So that half of 2 beats would be 1 beat. So this will be on for 1 beat. So in the universe, what you want to do is you're going to put in a bunch of buttons or whatever that you uh, enjoy clicking on, I think a button makes more sense than most things. Um, and in the inspector you can sort of see what I've done here, I haven't done too much. Uh, what I've really done is just set the uh, the label and the color of the button to represent the color that's going to go on to the effect. And then everything's triggered via Pango script. So it's a very simple script, you just say effects cell click 1 1, which means that it's going to activate um, the uh, effect in row one, column one, um, or maybe deactivate it depending on where it's active or not. Actually, I need to test that to be honest. Yeah, de deactivates it as well. So it just clicks that cell for you. And for the uh, the second column, exact same thing, except you're now clicking on row two, column twenty five, or whatever column that you've put that effect on. For these reset buttons, this will basically press this stop button on the side of your effects rows, and that stops all the effects in that row. So that's even simpler. It's just stop effects cell one. <clears throat> I've got color slider zero here as well, but you don't really need that. It just resets your color slider to zero. Um, but <coughs> I typically don't really use the color slider because like I said, it will wreck your brightness effects. Um, but yeah, hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you can do with the book Beyond Universe. I like to use this because it's easier to click on these than the, uh, the quick effects tab. <coughs> um, and it's also a very simple way to make chases on the fly. Uh, there's definitely more complex chases that you can make. Um, with that same sort of methodology of using bypass as your sort of inhibiting factor. But this is just the simplest one that you can do. Um, and if you're like me and you do a bit of lighting as well, you know how useful it is to, have to sort of separate your different effects slash, you know, positions, presets, scenes. Um, and the quick effects tab is great but I like to keep my colors separate for the most part I don't really use most of these other effects um, 
So it means that I can allocate this to a different monitor or a different portion of my screen um, and free up some space for other things, other universes um, or other, not universes, but other workspaces. Sometimes I just like to undock this and rearrange and then I can have, uh, put my quick effects somewhere else and put this somewhere else. So it makes your sort of setup a lot more versatile. Anyway, hope this helps um, and shoot me a comment or an email if you have any questions.